The Seaway Mall is inviting the Welland community to come donate food to three local food banks in their first ever Spring It Forward Challenge. About a couple months ago, we got together with the three organizations involved and we sat down in a boardroom and said, how can we do something for everybody as opposed to each one individually? And everybody came up to the party and here we are, we're starting today and we're very excited. The mall decided to donate 2,900 square feet, which we're standing in right now, to this event. And this is the unit that we're going to try to fill up with food. What makes the Seaway Mall the best place to host? You know, we're a community-oriented mall. We do a lot of things for different charities here. And people feel comfortable with donating here. We do it every year at Christmas time when we buy a meal. So we thought we'd be the perfect host for this. How do you feel about the Seaway Mall hosting this challenge? I'm really excited about a week-long food drive and how that uh, provides a unique opportunity for so many people to get involved. Open Arms Mission is a faith-based, volunteer-driven uh, organization focusing on food insecurity and so much more. Uh, we are open from Tuesday to Friday uh, every week and um, yeah, that's really what we're up to. Can you tell us about some of the items that are needed most? I can. Canned meat is of significant need uh, at the Hope Center in Open Arms and also at the Holy Trinity Church Food Bank, uh, as well as pasta sauce would be another thing that we're in significant need of. Well, some of the items that we're getting a lot of need for are alternative milks, um, such as oat, almonds, soy milks. Um, as Father Tom mentioned, we do have a demographic of people that need their diabetic or they need some sugar-free options, uh, gluten-free options. We get a lot of requests for the energy shakes, like the Ensure yes. and uh, Boost. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've been seeing at the Hope Center? Uh, it's been really challenging. Uh, we've seen an exponential increase in the number of folks that are coming to see us for a food bank. Uh, you know, pre-pandemic, we might have between six and 800 people in a month coming to see us. Uh, and we just set a record in March with 1,750 visits. And every month, I mean, April's already shaping up like it's going to be a similar and maybe a new record. So add to that, we, we gave out, uh, we had 2,400 lunches uh, last month and uh, we're seeing over 100 people a day for lunch. So there's a food security crisis in our community and not just our community, I think across the, the province and across the country. And uh, we need the help of everybody that has the capacity to help to get through this. Is this an important and pressing issue for you and your constituents? Absolutely. And up at the federal level, we're doing the best we can, whether it was with homelessness, and whether it was with housing, uh, training, the economy, jobs. Uh, we're doing as much as we can to really inject into the different organizations, into the communities, uh, the cities themselves, uh, those programs. Uh, therefore, we look after the people in need. Are there any incentives for bringing in donations? Sure, there, there's a lot of incentives. There's gift cards to Mr. Mike's. Uh, there's gift cards to Ye Old Squires. There are CAA basic memberships. There's cinema passes. There's a bunch of different things that we're giving out every day. What are your hopes and goals for this event? This is our first run. We're hoping that uh, we get a lot of food because the yeah, Open Arms did a, a video on Friday and showed their warehouse and there is no food. And they're telling us stats that uh, food donations are up 400%. So we really, really are hoping people will get out and help us. The Seaway Mall and the three participating food banks are encouraging people of the city of Welland to come help fill these shelves by Sunday afternoon. Reporting from Welland for The Source, I'm Chloe Olivo.